everyone we are back for part two of our adventure in stray and yeah let's do it oh hello <gasps> no don't be scared of me So friendly. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Guys, I'm not gonna eat anyone. You look lost, what do you need? Um, oh, a picture of the outside, ridiculous. What do you mean? This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place, well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. Um, who is Momo? You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Ooh. Press 1 to ask for help. Don't hesitate to call me anytime, I'm here to help. The guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Okie dokie. Hi guys! Oh, let me just... Yeah. <clears throat> okay, he's sleeping. Why go up there? There's nothing there. Hmm. They're all sleeping. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. I'm not a Zerk, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let you sleep, okay? 
Take care of you. Um, who are you? I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. Yes, it is. So, we need to go in that building to find Momo. Maybe... Hmm, maybe here? That was a big jump. And here, and here, and here. Hi guys! Please don't bother Vapora, she's so clumsy. Okay, thank you for telling me. Um. <laughs> Look at them. Hello. <gasps> Oopsie. of here I'm sorry about that one guys and neon sign here oh those circles of light are pleasing to watch but I want to see the real sky one day We can take a nap here. This is so cute. Okay, let's get up. We need to find more, more. Little stretching. Oh no, wrong way, I think. Maybe here. Comes right. Or oh, through the window. Hi. Are you Momo? No. <laughs> looks so sad hey <laughs> yeah his momo is never going to work why did i let them go i'm all alone now hey you what do you want uh maybe if i show him the postcard this is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Thank you. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. 
Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. Uh, we must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zergs. It is signed Clementines, Balthazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Alright. Nice place you got here, Momo. What is this? Outsiders. <gasps> nice. Oh, let me just do a little scratchy. What is this? <gasps> oh no, I can see, I can see. I can see. Take it off, take it off. Oh. Nice. Um, it wasn't me. Okay, nothing here. Okay, Momo, I'm gonna leave. This symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. That seems like a lead. Oh. Okay. So we need to get there somehow. Maybe through here. Hi. Is anyone home? Oh. Nobody's home. Let's see. An outsider notebook is the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Um, everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. Uh, they are in a place called Midtown and apparently is controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes. I know this look, he will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay. Are we done here? Uh, what is this? Sheet music. Hmm. Okay, I think we are done here. Um, where to now? Um, oh, I see the same logo here to the left. Let's check it out.
What is this? Oh, nice. <laughs> this is funny. There's so many books here. Oh. Let me just do a little scratchy. Oh, translate. Hey dog, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. So we got the key to a safe. And I'm assuming it must be here somewhere. Shit. Um, what is this? How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. Alright, let's see. It should be a safe here somewhere. Um. Oh wait. This is it. I think. Keys. Oh, nice. Nice work. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the zergs on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Nice, let's do it. Let's see what's next. Um, I see a big sign up there. Guys, <laughs> that's so funny. And up, and maybe here, and up, and up. Translate. Ventilation power supply. What happened? Oh, can we go in here? Yes! Water. 
Nice. Wait. Something fell off the box? What is this? Oh, the notebook. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Balthazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zergs. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breathes at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says... I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Nice. Okay. Oh, here. So we need to go to Momo. Uh, oh yeah, here. cat are you still looking for those useless notebooks yeah i found them all look that's baltazar's notebook right i never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time but he was very wise maybe doc's notebook oh it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. And look, Clementine's notebook. Wait, you actually found all my friends' notebooks? Yeah. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementines, Baltazar, Doc. I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. He's fixing it. Voila, it works. Come with me. I'm coming. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they will know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zergs. We need your little outsider. Bring us to the sky. No problem, I got you. Uh, I'm assuming that's the big building. Oh no. That's a long way to go. Hmm. 
Drove tops. You. Um, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Oh no 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 no, I was kidding! Run 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 run! Up here! Up, 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 up. Let's go here! And up 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 up! Oh my god. Okay, where to now? Oh, here. What is this? far so good this is so high up This looks so ugly. Oopsie. guys wait can we talk about it <sighs> oh no run 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 is this even the right way i think it is no 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 Run, run, run.
Nice. <gasps> Are we safe? to run with more okay like this and now mm. I don't like you guys Open the door, open the door. transceiver on this antenna oh we made it use item transceiver does it work Look, the view is beautiful from here. I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof ceiling of the city. 
humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose, I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Nice, let's go back to Momo. The slums part two. <laughs> Momo, where are you? Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Huh? Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Um, I'm coming, but I didn't memorize the code. I must be honest. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Uh, um, it was an age, I think. Ronky. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Um, and then it was O or was it a zero? <laughs> you got it. Nice. You're a genius. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Nice, you're a genius. Let's go find Momo. But now the question is though... Where's that bar? Is it this way? Oh no. <laughs> He's mad. He's so mad. Hi. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get the signal. Oh, that's Momo. You see? He's here. Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, 
Yes, we can hear you. We are for, from the slums. You're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Balthazar? Momo? Psh. I... I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous zergs everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it. You've <laughs> lost the scene. I can't believe his Baltazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Baltazar made it, there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers, it's infested with zergs. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past, it doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Hmm. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to find the Zergs. To fight the Zergs. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Oh. Don't listen to Seamus, he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned the secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Simon's apartment. Come on, follow me. I'm following. Wait for me! Bye. Nice outfit you've got there, Momo. Great style. Oh, he's still mad. <laughs> Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you... I think I have an idea. What idea? Oh, I see what you're doing. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Okay. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find a secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to re-establish communication with the others. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Seamus. What are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Let's show him the... 
Doc's notebook. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Yes, it is. Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Um, I don't know. I was kind of hoping you would know about it. Um, what is this? Oh, no, oh, my bad. Oh, <gasps> use digicode. Um. Simos, do you know the code for this? I've never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Oh no. Maybe we can find it in here somewhere. Maybe behind this? No. Maybe this one? Uh, time will tell. That's not the code. Hmm. Looking for a code. Hmm. Wait. What if it's the clocks, maybe? Two, five, one, one? Hmm, let's see. Two, five, one, one. Oh, <gasps> it worked! seen this room i can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time these blueprints they must be for his zerg weapon papa was always so secretive with his work he, he told me the weapon was working in theory but it needed a real life test he went outside the slums and he never came back Alright, what is this? Zerg are officially no longer under control, they now eat metal. Hmm, you. Translate. Um. The Fluxor Blueprint. Alright. We don't need that. Let's see here. Observations. Cute sounds but never friendly. Old bacteria. Uh, total vision in the dark and react to the intense light. Mm. Oh, wait, did something fell out of it? Take broken tracker. Simos, we found something. Find anything interesting in here? Yeah, let me show you. 
Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Well, thank you very much. Um, can someone who can repair the tracker though? Hi. Yeah. Are you good? <laughs> Hi. That guy is cleaning the paint again. Sure, he's making use of all that detergent. <laughs> Hey, do you know where I can repair this? Why is this thing a tracker? I don't know anything about high-tech stuff. Try the bar. Okay. Uh, where's the bar? I think it was here. Oh yeah, nice. Hi, Momo. <laughs> I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus? Yeah, this tracker. Interesting device, but it looks broken. Maybe someone in the village can help you repair it? Did you ask at the bar? Well, I was about to. Hi, Jacob. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Can you repair this? What a beautiful object and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented, just a little... well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Uh, what do you mean he's a little... He's a little how? Let's find out. Okay, he said left. Hi guys. Translate. Elliot programming. Oh, this is it. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Alright. I'm kind of knocking. Uh, hello. Can I, can I come in? Are, are you Elliot? Wait, is he sleeping? You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Oh. Sorry to bother you. Is he here? Oh. <gasps> This must be him. Meet. Elliot, yes, can I help you? Yeah! I have this tracker, you see. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model, it's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget, may I? Sure. 
I know how to repair it. Wait. I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. A blanket? Yeah, let me just... Um, done. A blanket. Do you have a blanket here? Summer. Hey. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry to bother again, but he needs a blanket. <laughs> Elliot's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore. It got passed down from our ancestors. If you want him to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That will butter him up. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. Uh, cloth. Guys. I, you see, I kind of need a blanket like yours. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Oh. Grandma. Hi. Hmm. Oh, he's mad. He is very mad. What is this? Can I find a blanket here? Super spirit detergent guys do you have a blanket in here uh, no do you have a blanket no <laughs> nice moves. Very nice. A little ball. Hi. We are fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zergs. The slums has... It's threads and preparation is key. Mm. Who are you? What is this? Inspect music sheet. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is a music sheet. A masterful piece of art of a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. I can't do less. Do I have? I don't. Okay, you know what? I don't need that. What is this? This is a set of electric cable, the best of the market. I'll, ex I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. Wait, I have that, I think. Here you go. Thank you. 
What about this one? This is an ancient relic, a, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink. Um, yeah, I don't have that. Um, I still need a blanket though. Hmm. Do you guys have a blanket? Where is grandma? Cause they... Grandma made me these clothes. Is this grandma? Grandma clothing. <gasps> Grandma! Hello, little one. Do you have any electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. Actually, I do. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. There you go, little one. It will suit you well. <gasps> Is this poncho good enough? Guys, open the door. Thank you. Hey, hey, I found the poncho. Don't worry, the tracker is safe here with me. But I can't work on it unless I have a claw to keep me warm. I can't focus. Wait, I brought you a poncho. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Grandma made it. Let me try it on. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update. And one more thing. Voila. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. Thank you so much. You look so good in that poncho. Hi. Hi. Can you open the door, please? Thank you. Now I'm assuming we need to show this to Seamus. Uh, where was he leaving? I think here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Let's see. Hi Seamus. Did you manage to fix that tracker? You did it? You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. We got the ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Um, 
cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. <laughs> oh, he's mad. Where? Where? Oh, here. Phew. I thought I lost him. Just passing by. This must be it. You really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Let's do it. Open the door. I don't know about this one. Ew. Look at all these Zerg eggs. They will eat us. I can do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zergs will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. We'll know that you're a friend. Gain the badge. I I'll open the door for you. Um, I don't know about this one though. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it and I will see you on the next one. Bye!